Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I just have to get ready for the day, which isn't much because I'm going bare face, bare hair, like absolutely nothing done because I'm getting everything done today. I haven't had a spa day ever in my whole life. I don't know if you know how seriously exciting this is for me because I've never, like I've got my nails done or whatever, but like all of this stuff in one day, never had a facial, you know, all the shipping. But I just wanted to share something with you guys because I'm pregnant and I wanted to show what true mom brain looked like. Do you see that? Tell me why my acid reducer medicine is in the fridge. Literally, I've been losing my mind. So here's the fit. The bumps bump in. They're long. This is from Forever 21. I'm trying to pick out a bag. But I got a lot of stuff to carry today because it's content day. I got all this to carry. I also have my camera. This would have been cute. Not much fits in here. So then I was like, let me upsize. This is cute, right? But... No, man, that's gonna drive me crazy. I can't deal with that jingle. Oh, but this would have been so cute. Let me just go with a purse. So I've got my good old Michael here. I could go with that, but it's just... Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think so, not today. Just a shoulder moment, what do you guys think? Better, right? Right? This is cute, maybe if I, like... I'm a two-strand girly, what about you guys? Do you leave it all up? Yeah, that's cuter. So now I'm just gonna put stuff in my bag and then we're gonna head out, girl. I had to grab myself a little snacky for the road because this baby just doesn't let me fast, even just a little bit, which I normally like to do and I don't do it always intentionally. It's just that like I'm not a morning like breakfast kind of person. So I grabbed myself a banana can I have a grande brown sugar shake and espresso, please? Thank, Thank you. you. It's 9.30. It took me an hour to get home, so it's 10 o'clock. So whatever you're waiting on, just go ahead and do it by yourself. <gasps> you don't want to come with me? I'm not going to be in with this, sweetie. I'm going to be home by 10 o'clock, and you have to leave at 10. Oh. Uh, how much time do I have? You have, like, 20 minutes, babe. 20, 30 minutes. It's, like, 9.28 right now. Be home at 9.50, and you'll be fine. Do you guys ever do that with your man? <laughs> I will ask him like all of the questions in the world just to have him kind of figure it out for me and then I'll just like go based off of that sometimes. I am not the best with like timing so he knows me and he definitely knows traffic because where I gotta go to go get my hair done it takes a good hour to get there. He knows the streets. <laughs> He will be able to tell me like there's traffic backed up here like I know for sure like it's gonna take you longer you know so I always like ask him his opinion on that well anyways i was gonna tell you guys how my skincare routine was working out for me in my date night vlog honestly i got a good um combination of products the CeraVe face wash for really dry skin and i wanted to combine it with the ordinary multi-peptide ha serum which is like their new reinvented hyaluronic acid product that has been doing a pretty decent job here i'm gonna give you guys a close-up I mean, it's way more like supple and I always use that word because it's just it really is I still get breakouts here and there and it's kind of frustrating because I can't figure out exactly why But as for the most part like my complexion has really cleared up My skin texture has just become more smooth and it's actually doing a amazing job Yeah, just a little skin update You could do a lot with a little song Everything you got and let it go Stop playing with him, man. I done waited my whole life for this. Holy Spirit is my high. Hold on. Cause I know one thing and one thing, yes, I know for sure. That Jesus coming like a thief in the night and he is not no joke. So I just got here and I wanted to give you guys like a pre-hair. Oh, let me put it right here. My hair is like pretty long and pretty dead. Not much volume, really nothing going on curl patterns if you can really see it not much of one yeah she needs to come back to life i like the length i just don't like the way that it's not healthy right now and this pregnancy better help my hair grow but it's gonna be healthier soon let's go Let me 
show you the back. Look at what Michelle did. She freaking slayed it. Are you kidding? I never thought, I never thought my hair could do this. She did so good. So <gasps> Look at those layers. And the bounce. Yeah. Oh my god, you slayed. That's a lot. And you still cut my length. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, your length is like all the way over here, girl. Yeah. No, you still have a length. <gasps> so pretty, girl. Oh my god, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> so now I'm back for the facial. We're just waiting. My mom got taken back before me, but I can't stop touching my hair. Look, guys, literally, I'm obsessed. <gasps> Look at that bounce. She slayed it. So they have like a little complimentary freshen up station. She said to like fix your makeup. There's little cotton pads and little swabs and stuff. Things you can like brush your hair up. But if you haven't noticed, this is where I'm at. This is a nice cute little setup. It's very relaxing in here with the ambiance, the lights. Well done, Tricosi, well done. I'm gonna show you this little room over here too. It's so stinking cute. We got little cucumber water, lemon water. Oh, you're greasy like I am. Yeah, pretty greasy. But that looks really good. Your face is glowing. My face is glowing. Mm -hmm. She tried to pop this little pimple right here. Yeah, she did extractions on my face and it felt so good. Did she it feel good? Feel good. Yeah, like getting the pimples and stuff? I don't. You don't like that? I don't think I really felt that. I can tell she touched this bad boy. the next morning my hair got a little flat so it's like okay i'm gonna give myself a little bit of a blowout i have a family gathering today i'm gonna apply my lashes and i figured that i was just gonna save myself a good penny by purchasing all of these lash products that would help me do them at home and then i could just constantly keep them up myself if you see anything that you like this is on my amazon storefront under lashes and get yourself a really close up mirror i have this little thing here i got from walmart i don't know if you could see it but it's a little suction cup uh, mirror and it goes perfect on another mirror that you might own because you want to see exactly what you're doing so when i got my facial yesterday i asked the lady that was doing my facial to give me some information so that i can share it with the girlies she was telling me different kind of just info that i could take back to you guys because i was struggling with trying to find like the right thing to work for my skin right well i had a lot of dryness and just like peeling along like the hairline and like in the crevices of my nose or whatever she was telling me that i needed to exfoliate more but she's like you don't want to exfoliate too much 
because too much is just as bad as not enough. Once a month is like the sweet spot. I'm pretty sure we all know the benefits of exfoliating to get that dead skin off, but I didn't know like how much. And that probably was my problem. Obviously with the seasons changing, I wasn't like keeping it up. You know, wear your sunscreen, girl. And I'm really bad about that. I need to get better the sun is just what makes your skin age even faster and she confirmed that i was just kind of like asking for ways that could help uh kind of like reverse that and she was telling me vitamin c if you don't have a vitamin c serum you need one she's like it's definitely crucial only for during the day so you don't want to do it like at night and yeah just once a day in the morning is fine i was like okay so like a vitamin c and then i told her the products i was using she's like that's actually perfect for your type of skin that's dry that CeraVe is actually a really clean ingredient face wash so recommended by an esthetician also the ordinary she was like yep it's also a really good one it's a clean ingredient serum and she's like you want to do those double so like in the morning and at night which i do yeah i'm gonna try adding vitamin c into my skincare and then hopefully it'll help a little bit more you know so i've never ever applied lashes before and i'm talking like lash extensions like i've done the lash strips but i've never done it under my lash line but i watched a good amount of tutorials so i feel like i kind of know what i'm doing <laughs> but i have all of the lash products that i have washed throughout a good amount of time that have um oh my god i'm just not making sense like i hope you guys like pick up what i'm throwing down because this mom brain kind of is just kind of like i think you could tell I'm just not really with it. And this one is good because this, this one doesn't burn. The micellar water. This is definitely oily. Let it dry for a little bit. You know what I do need that I don't have is a little fan. I think that's going to speed up the drying time. Also, Lash Techs always have their fans with them. You know what I do have, though? so extra but i don't have a fan so i mean this works it's a fan i just got this from the dollar store because i was like i just need a quick fan i'm gonna use the lash like bond and this one comes with the bond and the lock brush these babies out so i'm gonna be using labis their lashes we're just gonna be doing this together so let's go girl let's start with the bond also you don't want to do it too close to your waterline otherwise you might experience a quick fallout or a burning sensation yeah you gotta get in there girl it's gonna help to lift i definitely didn't do that right what did i do wrong that probably was my problem as i just applied it very lightly on the bottom layer of the lash this time i applied it on like the whole lash Wait a minute, that was really easy. These tweezers are actually very necessary. Applying strip lashes alone with regular tweezers is actually a headache. Once you get the hang of it and you know what you're doing, it's not awful. It's pretty easy. It's just that these are going to help you way more. They're more precise. And just look at the point on these. These are really good for pinching. So... Yeah, I would definitely try to invest in these tweezers. So we did three 16s. Now we're gonna do 15. Oh, and you know what? They stick on really easily. I thought that you'd really have to like press it in, but once it actually touches the lash, it seems to just kind of like know what to do and just stick on there. This is way easier than strip lashes. I'm gonna be really honest. Just is gonna look way more clean too because I cannot stand when you can see the band of the lash. It is not cute. If you grab more on the outer, like not where the band is, you're more likely to rip off the lashes or lose the curve of the lash. Try grabbing more on the band. So see how I just, I grabbed it by the actual band so that way they don't rip and they kind of stay curvy. So now I'm on 14 and if I can do this, I promise you, you definitely can do this it takes me extra long with certain things because i just for one i'm a perfectionist and for two like sometimes i just don't get the hang of things <laughs> damn lash tech who and then should we go with the 12 or the 13 mm. i'm thinking maybe more the 12s so then it gets shorter for right here so the order is 3 16 16 16 16 on the outer and then it goes 15 14 and then i jump two twelves and put a tiny little nine so 
So these are how the lashes came out. And I just saved myself 150, 150 bucks. get <laughs> shoot lala. Took about like 40, 50 minutes. It took me like 40 minutes, yeah. You started so at 40. The minutes. one eye, one eye minutes. took me like a good 30 minutes because I've never done it before, so I had to figure out how to do it. But then once I got a hang, the hang of it, the other eye was pretty easy to do. So if you want to save yourself some money and get your lashes done at home. Save myself 150 try to get all of the products that you need to apply the lashes so I have all of the products that I use to apply the lashes in my Amazon storefront so the link is gonna be in the description oh and then I wanted to show you too how the nails look like broad daylight I don't know if you could see like the last clip that I had they did pretty good. I will say, to be honest, I'm not so sure if their prices went up, but they charge you nail tech prices for nail salon quality. And I don't know how I feel about it, so I might just invest in nails myself with the drill and all this stuff so that I could do it myself at home. It's a little something, but they charge me kind of crazy for it. Mm. So that pretty much wraps up my self-maintenance vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna be doing a lot more like at home self-care stuff. The whole weekend was pretty much just like a pamper me weekend vlog that I wanted to bring you guys along for and anything that I could learn along the way I wanted to share with you guys so all of the information shared with the esthetician and stuff I was really happy to share with you guys in the future there's gonna be a lot more cheaper at home ways to take care of yourself because we don't really go all out all the time and do a lot of major splurging on ourselves look out for those at home cheaper ways to spoil yourself thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell icon so that way you get notified every time i post a new video